So last time went kind of miserably, so maybe we could look at the crystal ball to figure out what we should be doing here. That's not very helpful. Uh, let's try again, I guess? Um... Okay, Crystal Ball, thanks. Bye. So, in order to actually progress, we actually need to get some equipment so we can actually deal with the Guitar Warrior outside. More specifically, we need a weapon. In order to get a weapon, we need to make a little money first, so... I figured why not try and make a, a call to Yuji Dude, the second video producer. Hopefully we'll be able to sell something to him uh, at a high enough price that we can actually buy ourselves a weapon, so we can actually progress in the game. So, uh, I made this cool little music video here, and, uh, let's call him up. You did it. Hello, how is the weather in Tokyo? Dippo Fred Bama. Kochi wa atsukute. Shikke moon moon da ze. I'm sorry to hear that. Doko kara kakite ru ndai? I am calling from another dimension. I am gathering material for my music videos. I would like to send you a video now. Okay, I'm going でも、ビデオを見て、すぐに連絡するよ。うん、クルビンザンドライス。このビデオは僕のショーとマッチするかもしれない。I would be happy to receive your offer now. これでどうかい? Stone Cold Heavy に満足してくれると思うよ. That's actually a lot more than I expected to get. So I'll gladly take that. This is a great offer, I will take it. Super Groovy. 君の銀行口座にトランスファーします. It was a pleasure doing business with you. So I didn't actually expect to be able to sell that video to him. The reason being that the video was filled with a lot of violence and a lot of money. And if you read his interview, you'll find that if there's two things that he greatly dislikes, it's money and death. So... I really did not expect it to go over so well with him, and that kind of sums up Yuji Dude as a whole. He's kind of weird in that it's very hard to actually target videos towards him. He's a bit erratic in what he will accept and what he won't accept, and sometimes he'll pay very low for something with a lot of stuff in that he's supposed to like, and sometimes, as he did just before, he'll pay a decent amount for something that contains a lot of stuff that he shouldn't like. So, YouTube Dude is kind of a wild card. It's he's definitely one of those video producers that if you're gonna sell something to him, save beforehand because you never really know if it's gonna sell well or not. Now, reading through his interview, it becomes very clear that it, there's one thing that YouTube Dude really likes. It's the U.S. So I've made a video with a bunch of imagery from New York, from San Francisco. A little bit from Tokyo, and there's even a signpost from Haight-Ashbury for some reason. 
Um, and let's see how this goes with them. Hey, Domo. Omoshiroi ne. Nanka crazy wow suru mono ga aru yo. I am very happy to hear this. Mmm, kuru beans and rice. このビデオは僕のショーとマッチするかもしれない。パーティーオンイット。お金をあげたいと思いますが。それかもう少し考えるためにバイブの時間をあげるよ。これでどうかいストーンコールドヘビーに満足してくれると思うよ。So it's more, but when you consider that this was a video that's completely filled with things that he enjoys, in contrast to the video I saw them before that's filled with stuff that he doesn't like, it's not a very big difference. So he's a weird one. So definitely, if you're ever gonna sell anything to him, you're safe beforehand. Either way, we've got some money now, so we should get ourselves a guitar. Which is the weapon type in this game. Now, as you can see, there's cheap guitars, there's more expensive guitars, and of course, the more expensive they get, the more powerful they are. Uh, from the money that we've made so far, we can only get、uh, the most basic kind, the twanger. But、uh, it'll be fine for the first couple of encounters. Your credit has been approved. Okay, so now we actually have a chance of surviving outside of our media tower. Every time you go outside, you pretty much always want to bring some food and some,、uh, some coffee with you. The food mostly for、uh, the physical energy, because if you run out of physical energy, you, for example, can't open any doors. And if you run out of mental energy, you pass out, and、uh, bad things happen. So, always make sure to have some with you before you leave. Let's see if we can tango with the,、uh, the guitar warrior this time. It should go a little, little better than、uh, our last attempt. The master of this dimension, the Metal Lord, does not welcome you. You must turn back. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, uh. Don't come any closer, or I will destroy you. Now. Uh, if you use your guitar, you will instantly go into battle. So, uh. Here go. So, do you have any clue what just happened? You probably didn't, and that's fine. So, the way this works is when you go into battle, you have your guitar and you have these seven different power chords. Each power chord has its own corresponding color. The way these battles work s is you typically want to wait for the guitar warriors to attack you and then play the power chord corresponding to the one that he played. You will then neutralize his power chord and you can then attack him. On combat difficulty levels 4 and 5, you don't actually have color on your power chords. You have to be able to play using only ear, which I can't, so let's not do that. Also, you'll have to make sure to not just spam one power chord all over because it'll just reset every single time you play it and you'll, you'll get killed. Also, it's pretty important to make sure that you upgrade your guitar as often as you can because. If your guitar is under the power level of the guitar warrior that you're fighting, you'll have to play the same power chord several times to neutralize his attack. Now, I made a little extra money and got myself some stronger guitars, mostly just to make this a little more painless for myself. Now, the maze here, or it's not really that much of a maze, there's only three different ways you can really go. It's a little disorienting at first, but once you've played this game a little, you'll get the hang of it. It's not that bad. Now,、uh, as you run around in the realm of distortion, you can get into random encounters. 
you'll pretty much have to play these encounters as well because they're the the main source of fame in this game. <laughs> Now, let's see if we can find anything here. And, uh, got this little terminal here. Yeah, we should be good. Let's see here. Now, this minigame is pretty much all about either dumb luck or memorization. Ooh, yeah. What you need to do is, you need to look at the uh, symbols that are up in the, the top screen, and you need to press the button that corresponds with that symbol. Yeah. The symbols don't actually bear any semblance to the buttons that they're set on, so you pretty much just have to memorize which button does what. It's kind of frustrating, but you kind of get the hang of it after a couple of tries. Oh, yeah. There we go, and let... Uh, well, um, we, we have card X, right? Uh, let's see. Maybe it's this? No, no, nope, that's not it. Nope. You did. Um, no, not this either. Fine. This won't work. Yeah, so this was a waste of time. Come on, open up. Let's uh, move on, see if we can find this card axe somewhere. <laughs> Let's see here, we got this door here. Uh, of course, always make sure to, to capture everything on video. Because you'll you'll need it, really. And, uh, let's see. So clicking on the door does nothing. And uh, there's not really any buttons. Actually opening this door is either, again, complete dumb luck, or you actually need to go check out the bookcase in your personal media tower, because in there, there's a jigsaw. And, uh, the jigsaw puzzle shows an image of the door we just found. Now, the jigsaw puzzles in the book are either very badly programmed or just bugged, because even if you put all the pieces together, they don't actually click or even acknowledge that they're together, so you can't actually complete any of the jigsaws. But this particular jigsaw actually shows us a little image here that's pretty useful, because if you look at the, the rightmost door frame, there's a little purple cube there. Now, if we go back to the door, press on the right door frame, purple cube, press that, door opens. Now, let's see, uh... Let's go... Nope. Let's not go back outside. So, for some reason, on this side of the door, if you press the door, you lose 10 health. So that's good to know. Now, uh, let's see here... That's, uh... Unsettling. Let's see, uh... Well, let's, um, go. Oh. So, yeah, that's bad. Actually, just walking through this hall here just completely reduces your life force to one. Pretty much no matter what. So, yeah, let's just... There we go. Now... Let's see what we can actually do about this. Um, maybe in here? Nope. I'll see you guys next time, I guess. You were hot. Guess Bye. What? You're not. You are dead. Crazy wow.